Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're a new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. It is Sunday, so y'all already know it is mimosas and makeup, but I am actually getting ready to go to a Juneteenth slash Father's Day cookout. So I don't have a mimosa, but I will have some drinks at the cookout. Uh, let me show you what I have right here though. So right now I'm just finishing up this sparkling ice orange mango, but hopefully you're having a mimosa and hopefully I'm having one as we watch this video together in the chat. So I have a different video today and I'm really excited and I, I, yeah, I'm excited to do this one. So I'm going to be smelling some fragrances for the first time with you guys and just giving y'all a little update. I talked about things that were going on with Marky and school and all that good stuff. So while we smell these fragrances, I'll talk about that. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video and let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first, first I wanna tell you all about my ears because I usually get the Disney Parks ears from Amazon, but these are from a brand called Lola and Me. I will put them in the description box. They are on Instagram, so I'll put all their contact information there. They are a mommy-daughter business, and I have to thank my YouTube and Instagram friend, Jell Beauty, which I'll put her channel and Instagram in the description box as well because she's the one that tagged me because y'all know I love my ears. So here you can see them up close. Look how cute these are. Thought they were just beautiful and I had to have them. Now they were $50, but you know, they are handmade and these are so unique and special. She's got, um, they've got some different designs. So they have an Etsy shop if I didn't say that already. So thank you, Gel Beauty for putting me on. Like I literally ordered them as soon as you tagged me. Uh, the, they are amazing and I'm wearing them to the cookout today. So I'm excited. Okay. I also have to thank the lovely Charlotte Holcroft, uh, who was the inspiration for this video. I was watching her do one of her makeup roundups, kind of like I do at the end of the month where I talk about everything that I've worn for the month. And with me getting into fragrances, I, I know that that's something that she's into as well. But she talked about this brand and she talked about these fragrances. And I was just like, wow, these sound so interesting. Even the, the brand name, Contradictions in Ilk. I was like, what is that? And she talked about how interesting the notes were, that they were notes that she had never heard of before. And I, she didn't go into detail detail about all of the fragrances, but she was saying that she liked them all, which I don't know how common that is when you get like a discovery set. You'll have some that you like, you'll have some that you're like, ah, I wouldn't buy this in the full size, but I believe she liked them all. And she purchased this discovery set from Selfridges. Now I believe it is $50 there. Me having the free shipping from Selfridges, I was like, oh, I really want to try this. Like I am really excited to try this brand out. So while I was waiting for this to come in the mail, I just was looking up the brand on YouTube and the brand had a YouTube video about the Discovery set. There was only two subscribers to that channel. So I am gonna put that in the description box as well. And the way that, I think it was like the CEO, uh, the way she described everything, you know, I am a sucker for great descriptions. That's why I've been so sad because in my last two weeks of new makeup releases videos, there have not been any Tammy Tanuka releases. And you know, Tammy Tanuka palette names, descriptions, shades, a round of applause every single time. I'm like, this is so creative. So when I listened to her describe the scents, I was like oh. and how did you come up with this so anyway the set finally came so let me show it to you this is what it looks like and it says contradictions in and then it says ilk that says ilk right there and these scents you can wear them alone but they are designed as layering scents, layering pairs, which I also thought was very interesting. Now, Contradictions in Ilk is a niche fragrance, which, you know, I'm learning they're not part of like a big fragrance house. So I'm thinking of it along the lines of like indie makeup, 
this is kind of like an indie fragrance brand. Please correct me if I'm wrong because there may be indie fragrances. I don't know, but that's how I'm viewing this. The fragrances are grouped by twos. So there are eight fragrances and the two, the pairs are designed to be layered together. So we are just gonna go through this and smell them. I'm gonna smell them, I'm gonna try to describe them the best way I can, but I'm also going to read some information from the little pamphlet that came because I just thought, sucker for descriptions. So let's go ahead and get started. See what time it is. I got like 30 minutes before we need to leave. Okay, so it says, our layerable pairs allow you to celebrate the contradictions within your character by adapting our scent to complement your mood, environment, and whim. We believe that perfume allows for the ultimate means of self-expression. Be the artist of your own scent story. Yes, I'm into it. And it says they are lyrical scents inspired by human nature. Now, I also want to mention that Contradictions and Ilk is gender free, cruelty free, and plant friendly. So again, these are going to be unique unisex fragrances, and I'm really excited to get started. Now, I am gonna just go through this in the order that the shades are here in the pack. And I feel like this is out of focus, but we have nonchalant and infatuated. That's the first pair. We have realist and fantasist, sincere and devious, virtuous and libertine. So I'm going to read, cause these are kind of in a different order, I think. I'm gonna go in the order that they are in the packaging. So I'm gonna take out nonchalant first. And let me just show you what the little bottle looks like. So again, this is the Discovery set. It's gonna be your standard uh, perfume uh, sprayer. So nonchalant is inspired by a woman who carried her many accolades and characteristics with the breeziness that French women are famous for. The first black film star and renowned dancer, bisexual and wartime spy in Josephine Baker's dressing room, we witness a moment of reflection. Now the notes are red berries, raspberry, geranium, cinnamon, and patchouli. I am so fancy. So here we go. We're gonna spray on my little stick here and we'll see what we smell. So to me, this smells really sweet. So the berries, let me see, the raspberry, I smell that immediately. I do smell the cinnamon and I think the patchouli, which isn't like the, mm, it's not my favorite scent, but I don't mind if it's included in anything. I do have it as an essential oil by itself. I don't care for it by itself though. Mm. So if you like a sweet fragrance, that's what it smells like. I'm not sure if I smell the geranium. I mean, it does smell a little floral, so it's probably the geranium. Okay, now let me tell you, I would definitely wear that one by itself, but it is designed to be paired with infatuated. Now, infatuated is an ode to all consuming feeling, an olfactory glimpse into the wearing thoughts of a lovelorn teenager driven to obsession by their teacher. Come on y'all, this sounds like the soaps. Laying on the grass, daydreaming and chewing the rubber ended pencil, only the scent of pear and ginger crumble, wafting from the school kitchens can break their daydream. Is it wafting or wafting? Does it matter? Here are the notes. Pear, grass, amber, rubber, and oud. Now they're supposed to be paired together. I'm gonna just spray it on the other side. Okay, now this is reminding me of that House of Siage Batman. The first thing I smell is the rubber from that pencil eraser. Let me see if I can smell them together. I smell the grass. It definitely smells like grass and rubber. <laughs> now I can see how these go together. It makes it kind of earthy. I am not necessarily smelling the pear, but I mean rubber and raspberries, I don't know. It, it, it definitely smells kind of leathery, you know what I mean? So that is very interesting. Okay, I think I would rather have those as a pair 
or I would wear nonchalant by itself. Not sure if I would wear infatuated. It definitely smells like grass and rubber. Let's move on to the next pair, which is Fantasist and Realist. So Fantasist, this scent set in an enchanted circus, conjures a feast for the senses, inspired by distant lands and lucid imaginings. Join us for a trip through the psyche in search of the playful, the alternative. What the, I The magnificent unknown. Are you doing a story or something? I am, listen to what this. What are you doing? I'm reading it. Apple, jasmine, tonka bean, cannabis, rose. You wanna see how this smells? This is a smell test. Oh, I thought it was a smell story. It is, it's a scent story. You ready? Can I guess what it smells like? Is I, that you're gonna smell it on this. And then we're this gonna, is, oh wait a minute, we're, that's the wrong one. Oh, and then we're gonna guess what it smells like? You're gonna tell me what it smells like. That, okay. Wait a minute, which one did I read? I read. What you read the um, rose thing. The rose thing. The rose, okay, good. Fantasist. Okay, cause this is a little out of order. Okay, here we go. We're gonna spray it on this. I'm gonna spray it on here. Then we smell them separately and then we smell them together. Okay. How, where are we gonna go to We're leaving in 45 minutes. Okay. That's all. Ooh. Let me it's not, me okay. Me Hold on, look this way. Oh, I, I don't even know what that smells like. Look at all that stuff on my bed. Here, smell. I'm mm. gonna guess, but it smells like a, oh, like lipstick. Mm, okay, I can see how you say that. Now, let me look at the notes. So, let me bring my coloring page in here. Well, I'm coloring. You can color. Now, this kind of reminds me of a grandma. And I love grandmas. I don't think I would wear that. Now, I don't smell the apple. I think maybe I'm smelling the jasmine and the rose. Maybe a little bit of the cannabis. That's not a favorite. Let's go to Realist. Now, Realist is supposed to be paired with this, so we'll see. Now, here's Realist. This scent follows a monk's journey to find enlightenment and captures his illuminated spirit everyone, as the moon. Everyone that's watching, I'm doing the game. Okay, he's joining and the I'm, game. And I'm covering. Okay, and he's coloring. Now let me finish this. This scent follows a monk's journey to find enlightenment and captures his illuminated you spirit. Have I have to read with expression. Yeah. Okay, oh, I, 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 we're gonna be late. I, I have like a lot to go. This scent follows a monk's journey to find enlightenment and captures his illuminated spirit as the moon slips away, giving rise to morning. Exploring the olfactory passage from cold night to daybreak and the effect it has on the smell of the crisp mountain air and forest trees, a cleansing scent for the soul and sharpener for the mind. The notes are hinoki wood, black tea, yuzu, ozone, and vetiver. Vetiver. What's vetiver? Oh, yeah. Vetiver doesn't smell great. Not it's by like itself. Vinegar. No. No, I, I, I don't know about that. Okay, let me make sure it's not mixed. Here we go. Don't say vinegar. Ooh. Am I? Mmm. Ooh, it smells like, um, like, it smells like extra lipstick. Okay. <laughs> so I am getting that mountain crisp vibe. You call it crisp. I don't know what Hinoki would see. Yuzu ha has a citrusy smell by itself. Yuzu does. Do you know what yuzu is? It's an oil that I have that I believe comes from a. Where is it? I don't. I have to. It's in my oils thing, August. Okay, this is like a clean smell. I don't know how to explain it, but it it's like a nature clean mountain smell. This is now. Good. If I smell it with now, I can see how both together could be a nice pair. But I would not want to wear the Fantasist alone, but I would wear Realist. I don't really go for those clean smells. I think I like, I think it's Gourmand. I'm trying to learn here. All right, y'all, we have two more pairs left, so let's move on. Let me get them, just cook out on time, right? Yeah, we're going to a party at Dominic and I just have Okay, you don't have to tell who it is. All right. <laughs> Let's go to the next pair. So we have Sincere and Devious. Okay, now Sincere. This scent is as sincere as a mother's love or the first burning flush of giving your heart to love another. Oh, I know this. You do? It, it, 
this enveloping love. scent, you love a child. that's right. It encourages you to nuzzle and caress. Ooh, Lang Lang peach, almond, saffron, and milk. Okay, let me try to. Is, is this it healthy? Well, is it's actually healthy. Yeah, it's just a smell, a scent. So it's not. I hope it smells like milk. I hope so too. Let's see. Oh, I hope it smells like milk. If it doesn't smell like milk, I'm done with this. Let me smell it first. Don't tell me what it smells like. Okay. I don't know. What does it smell like? No, you tell me here. Oh yeah. It kind of smells like a chocolatey a little bit. Okay. But, so I'm smelling but it's that like, peach, that peach. No, I think it's like um um hot coffee, but it's mm, dry. A hot coffee. No hot chocolate and, oh. and it's not even and and but you know there's um dry little crumbs before it goes. Mm-hmm. That's what it smells like. Okay, so yeah, and when it dries down, you know, it may we may get more of that milk smell, but I like this one. Wait, that's milk? No, no, it, it's just a milk smell. The lady in the video, she said like a breast milk, so it's a sweet. You did used to do Wait, that when you were a baby. baby. Some mothers choose not to, and some do. It's, it's a personal choice. Mm -hmm. I chose to. All right, next we have Devious. Mom, but where Ooh. did you um, see that? What? Um, like about breastfeeding? Yeah. Um, I oh, just knew. Drinking. Breast drinking. About breast drinking? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's called breastfeeding. It is feeding because that's all you would have before you had food. Breastfeeding and drinking. Yeah. Okay, listen. Mm -hmm. Devious. Inspired by the sour edge of one's mind. Mm -hmm. A drunken, drowsily, oh, lulling. Yes, let me finish this. I gotta start over. Inspired by the sour edge of one's mind, a drunken, drowsily, lulling scent, capturing a stirring but poisonous effect you can have on your own mind when overindulging in dark, devious thoughts. We have cherry liqueur, almond, sandalwood, cyanide, and nutmeg. Mama, I Ooh. know because it's like your brain, brain is poisoned. That's right, especially if you have devious thoughts, like evil thoughts. Equal thoughts. Smell this one, smell this one. It smells the same as last time. Okay. It's like a, it's like um, um, a narrow. Yeah, 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 okay. This one has the cherry smell. Now, I think this is a great pair, devious and sincere, because you have the cherry, the peach. That doesn't smell like cherry. The almond smell. It doesn't smell like cherry. Though. And I'm wondering, okay, it might as you like let it wear. I'm wondering if the dry down, you'll be able to smell more of the nutmeg. Okay, right now, I think Devious and Sincere, this is the winning pair right here. But we have one more pair left, y'all. Am I gonna be the winner? Well, it's not our, you know, we, we're just having fun here. We have Virtuous and Libertine. Now, let me read, this is the last two. I know, I think I'm Let me just read first. Okay, here we go. Virtuous, transport your soul to the Tuscan Hills and walk in the shadow of a monk past the herb garden into the cool stone buildings beyond. A divine scent in the truest sense, like you, it is beautiful and stirring in equal measure. We have cold stone, worn leather, basil, sage, and incense. Uh, it's like when you're, you have to walk in a building that is, it has, it has rock windows and it's like rock. That rocky. sounds like it, like a stone building? Yeah. And- Ooh. And you have to walk in the shadows. Yes, smell this. Oh, it kind of smells like a shower a little bit. I would agree. He said it smells like a shower. So <laughs> this is another fresh type scent. Here, you want to get in? This is another fresh scent. Um, now, I'm kind of smelling the incense. I'm smelling the the leather, for the worn leather. That's what I smell. Incense and worn leather. Now, I don't know what cold stone smells like, but I'm, I'm thinking I like that one. Yeah, these are different. Okay, the last one. The, um, the, almost, the other, almost last one, it smells like a chocolatey shower. Ooh, a chocolatey shower? Mm -hmm. mm. Let's look at Libertine. Okay, inspired by Casanova, the most famous Libertine of all. Lacking in moral principles, a desire to conform or sexual restraint. Do you dare be in his presence? Not for the faint of heart, but for the bold of spirit. 
We have leather, orange, beeswax, rose, Ooh. and cumin. It's like, uh, it's, it's like um, the heart thing, it's like you don't want to believe them. Mm. And, 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 and it's like, and the, and the other, and the present thing is like, um, the present oh. is like, um, he does, you don't want to be a slave. No. Smell this one. Tell me what fruit that smells like. Come on. Hold on. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. It smells like um, a, a raspberry kind of okay. sour chocolate. No, this one. It smells like um 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 a showery chocolate and um, um some um some like um berries. I think this smells or like some crumbs. Beeswax and orange. I was gonna say honey. How do you know what everything mixes into? Well, it, you know what I'm learning. I, I don't know. I'm not smelling as much of the leather, which is great because you have the worn leather in the Virtuous. Mm. I'm not sure if I smell the cumin, but that might be more I in the dry I had, down. I thought I had incoming. Then I'm also thinking, you. I think this might be my second favorite pair. Um, I can't really rank these yet because I need to try them on my skin because I think that, you know, when you put perfume, oh, just put it right there. We're about to wrap up. Okay. Um, what I was going to say is, you know how when you put perfume on and it mixes with your natural scent, it's hard for me to tell like which ones I like. Um, I will say, I think I like My all of them except the one that had the, um, the rubber, that. the rubber. That's that, the only that, one I wasn't into. My coloring. So far, wait, back it up. That's amazing. And uh, and I did um a couple of extra pages. Okay. Oh, um, look, look, Mama, look, look. I, I did you're this page amazing and this at this. Page. I love it and, very much. And this page, Mama, look. They can't see it though. Mm. All right, let me wrap this up. Mm -hmm. Have you brushed your teeth this morning? I, I did. Okay. All right. Hey, so or this afternoon because it is. You almost 3 30. okay august we have 50, 20 minutes before we have to leave so what i wanted to say was the one with the teacher even though that was a very intriguing scent i think that's the one i didn't really like but i think i liked all the rest of them and i want to see i'm gonna have to just try these out and maybe come back i don't know it can't be for my june roundup i'll talk about this but it'll probably take me a whole it's already, it's already month you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It might take me a whole month to really get through wearing these separately and then paired up. But I think for 50 bucks, like this was such a great experience. And to do this with you guys, I'm really, really excited. I did not mention that this has a 36 month shelf life and it's made in the UK. Again, this is the contradictions and ilk discovery set. Now, I think if you order from their website, you can get 10% off your first order. And then Selfridges, I think it's like $50. So yeah, Yay. I'm excited about those. Mm. Let me know what you thought about uh, me doing this. So before I wrap up this video, uh, cause we're gonna get ready to get out of here. I, I really wanted to thank you all for everything that you share with me in response to the video I did where I talked about what was going on with Marky and figuring out what school he's going to next year. And I'll link that video in case um, you want to see it. But that was the Dior Coral Paisley video. I was just getting ready and just, I ended up just talking about it. It wasn't something I had planned to do. And I was so thankful for you all reaching out, just wishing me the best or wishing Marky the best, but also sharing your own personal story because some of you I've been friends with on here for a while and uh, the topic has never come up so I didn't know but it really made me feel like and I know I'm not but it really made me feel like I'm not by myself in this and that You're not there by yourself. thank right you here. yes and that there there is no reason to not have hope there's no reason to not be excited for him in his future because it's going to be amazing for you for marky just for me for us all and um you know the little hiccup that he has is not is not going to do it but at the same time the the advocacy 
and the just not giving up and just accepting whatever is going to be imperative to make sure that he gets what he, he wants. So I just wanted to sum up really what happened at the, the meetings because there's been two. Let me, um, let me. My camera's about to cut off because I'm almost at 30 minutes. So for the first meeting, um, it was just decided that he's going to continue to stay in the type of program that he's in, which is an alternative curriculum. And right now, it doesn't matter um, that he's not on a diploma track because he's just going to middle school. It's going to matter in high school. So I would say we have about three years to really work hard with him and get him together so that he'll be able to not be in that type of curriculum for high school and be on a gen ed track where he can receive high school credits and receive a diploma yeah I mean Mark yeah and that's what I'm gonna do but he, there's an option for him to be in the alternative classroom as well as something called self-contained which our kids that have IEPs or individualized education plans but participate in the common core curriculum not an alternative one and I think that's gonna be crucial for him because he's never participated in a general education curriculum so for part of his education he's gonna be in a class with kids that have an IEP for whatever reason but getting exposure to the faster pace and just the the general education it's a plan it's a plan to help kids that may have struggles with things like Marky does um, no, Mark, he has like autism. The the red shorts, he didn't even sing. So, so basically, he's going to get the exposure that I want him to get, and we'll see how he does with that. But for other subjects, he's going to be in the alternative curriculum. He's not going to be going to his zone home school, but the school is going to be close. And my biggest dilemma is the fact that he's going to start school two hours later than me because they changed everything. So I'll have to be to school at 715, but he'll be to school at 915. And since he's special education, the bus pickups can be different. So he's actually going to most likely get picked up from my school, which means uh, probably. Why is he in ninth grade? Is he going to walk back from school? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. He's not in, Let me just finish this really fast. True. Probably not though. There's no high school's work. Let me just finish this. Um, so my boyfriend Tyrone works at my school too. So most likely he family. he is our family, and he, most likely he will be mar walking Marky to the bus, which means uh, bus chronicles might not be happening as much. But I'm excited for Marky. He's so happy. He's graduating uh, this upcoming week, and I am just so thankful for all the progress that he's made and everything that he's done. Marky also will be singing in the chorus for graduation and his singing was amazing. Um, I'll try to put that on my stories, but yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for reaching out and, um, I am still getting the educational advocate, which is, you know, going to kind of cost an arm and a leg. And I'm in the process of getting all the paperwork that she needs. I'll tell you. Uh, she needs a lot of paperwork from outside evaluations that I've done that I've had for him and then all the evaluations IEPs and documents from his current school I mean I've got a pile like this thick and I still have to get the evaluations that I've had um, him participate in outside of school so I'm gonna do that and it's gonna be great because like by me being a teacher and her being an advocate like is I feel like it's gonna be a great team but she will make sure that he's gonna be getting every service every everything like no cutting corners where when it comes to him and so even though it's expensive it's going to be totally worth it so I will keep you all updated he is going to summer school um in July so we will have some bus chronicles then that's right August has a birthday Can coming I up record on my birthday? I, no I'm not gonna record on your birthday so anyway, that is it for mimosas and makeup, you guys. We are about to head. We are gonna get ready to head out to this, this cookout, and I'm really excited. Let me know how you feel about this video. Would you be interested in seeing some more of my fragrances? Because I now have like, um, I would say a nice little collection. Um, you know, scents are things that really help my anxiety. And it started with the um, essential oils. So I have a whole collection of essential oils that I use for different things like to diffuse. I put them in the shower. Uh, I smell them when I'm driving because driving gives me anxiety at times. So, um, you know, the perfume scents are just kind of a, a great addition to that. 
and they really make me happy. They make me happy. They last longer than makeup, I think. <laughs> and um, I, I'm really happy with, with it. I love smelling good and I love how it makes me feel. I am not the best with- My teacher told me this. Um, erasers can um, 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 Go ahead. stay alive like in like eight years. Oh, like I'm not sure you're about to say something about like people make mistakes and that's why there are erasers, but never mind. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. Um, they make me happy. Let me know, you know, if you enjoy this kind of like other content, because, you know, I like to mix it up. But like I said, this is makeup therapy. This is therapy, like me being able to talk, share my feelings about things, whether it's makeup, whether it's I, what anything, you know, I, I enjoy this and I really value and um, am honored that you all like con connecting with me. You know what I mean? I am just um, just in all the whole situation, but you know, sitting here and talking to a camera, sometimes it seems kind of strange, but I know I'm talking to y'all because of like the dialogue that we have after it. So and I just, on YouTube. and I do post it on YouTube. So that's it you guys, I'm starting to ramble. So thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me. I may have said it. I'm just keep talking on and on and on. I hope this was therapy for you because it definitely was for me. And um, thank you to my little guest. August Chambers. Until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe and, and I will see y'all. Before you, before you go, tell the audience what, what arm to leg means. What an arm and a leg means? Uh -huh. Oh. If something costs an arm and a leg, it means it costs a lot. Like I might have to give you my arm and my leg because I don't have the money to pay for it. But like that Chanel bronzer. Well, why would they freak out when you go down? Your it's just an head. expression, so you don't really do it. So you don't, you don't really give your arm and a leg. No, down. it's called an expression. It's like when it says it's raining cats and dogs. Oh, that's, it's not that's really, what my teacher told me. And what does that mean? It means it, it's it's raining. Is it raining a little bit or is it raining hard? It's raining them hard. That's right. But it's not really raining cats and dogs, right? Hey guys, guess what? I'm out of the first grade. Okay, this can continue to go on and on all day and we're gonna be late. So I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. Until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle yeah, with yourself. Right. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will and see y'all in the next one. And let's just get shown the road. All right, let's say bye. Bye. Bye.